Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Andre. I work as a software engineer. I will preface this presentation by saying this is my first presentation outside of school. So if I stutter or you know look up, I'm sorry for that up front. So for work, I mainly work uh, at the CKI team, and outside of work, I do some side projects like some stuff with Arlbot. So you know, and maybe some other stuff that we don't talk about because you know. It would take too long. So let's uh, start with kind of explaining what even is Rocket League. Some of you might know already what is Rocket League. Short version to explain it is that it's a game that's like football, but you use cars. And the cars have rockets on the back of them, so you can fly. right? So Rocket League is a game. It is a big environment. You have two goals. And uh, you want to get the ball in the enemy goal. It's very simple. One thing that's not very fun is the default bots in the game are pretty bad. And you can kind of see there, there's been a long joke going in the community uh, that the bots used to get stuck. I don't think they do anymore, but you know, it, everybody remembers it. They used to get stuck on the, on the transition between wall and floor and just started humping, humping that transition. So you know, everybody was making fun of it. So let's continue further to what is RLBot, right? And RLBot is pretty much just a framework that interfaces with the game. And you can get position data of all the players. You can input, uh, give inputs to your custom bots. You can also do some other stuff like state set, which means you, know, you can teleport balls and bots everywhere you want. It's also a massive community. The Discord, I believe, is now over 20,000 people. Most of them are users because we uh, have a nice GUI for people to download the framework, download some bots that we have, and then just play with them. And a lot of people like it because you don't have to have internet to play, and the bots can provide some nice training for you if you want. And specifically, I said not bad bots because hopefully most of them are pretty good, right? Um, when we go forward, uh, I will talk a bit more about the bots, right? They usually uh, split into two options, which is hard coded. And, you know, it's the classic, you know, what is AI? It's just if else three, right? Uh, but there's some more stuff to it. And then you have machine learning. Machine learning is a bit newer right now. It was not kind of possible to really make nice machine learning bots before. But uh, there's been some developments that made it a bit uh, easier and actually possible. I'll talk about those developments in the next slide. <clears throat> so hard-coded bots. Usually, people just use the RLBot framework, because there's more frameworks than just RLBot. And most of it is math. If you don't like math, then it's probably going to be hard for you. But it's not that difficult math. It's mostly linear algebra. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? Uh, then you have also if-else checks. As always, you have to have if-else checks in an AI, right? And states and more math and sometimes even you could argue that it's kind of like a missile targeting of a moving target because the cars themselves when they're in the air uh, work like rockets and the ball is you know moving targets so you're trying to calculate the trajectory of the bot and in that the trajectory that could intercept the moving ball at a certain time in the future to hit it into the goal which is very complicated and it's very fun math and I don't think we have really good time to explain all of it right now because it's a few hours if you really want to go into the detail. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like that. I'm going to continue with machine learning bots and I'll stop and explain a bit more with them because uh, that's one of, that's the best ones right now. Uh, simply because, you know, black, black box magic of machine learning and just put stuff in and some magic comes out and it's amazing, right? Usually, sometimes not. Uh, so for machine learning bots, uh, before uh, we tried to use our bot framework for it, the issue is the game cannot go fast. So it would take years to actually get some useful bot. There were attempts, but they were really bad. Like two hours of hard coding, like just pure logic, and you would have a better bot than, uh, than the machine learning bots that there were at the time. Then RL Gym came along to transform Rocket League into a gym environment, uh, which is uh, an open AI 
kind of environment for games to create mm, machine learning and AI for games. So it's standardized and you can use other libraries that are kind of helping to create uh, the models, right? There's uh, currently the most uh, popular way to make the bots in Rocket League is using a PPO. Uh, I will, I'm sorry again, I will say it outright. I'm gonna say some keywords for AI. If you want more, I will be at the keyboard booth. So you can come ask me more questions and I will explain everything as best as I can. Uh, but we don't really have time to go for into college level explanation of uh, everything about uh, machine learning and maths and whatever. Uh, the most important about machine learning bots is their behavior is mainly dictated by the reward, reward function. And pretty much uh, you have to create a better reward function than just score a goal. Because if you tell it score a goal, it might take years before it randomly tries to even score. In theory, it's the best reward function, right? Because you want to score a goal and not get scored on, and that's it, right? The problem is if you want to actually make a model that will follow that, it's going to take years. Hundreds, maybe? I don't know. I didn't, nobody tried, and I don't think anybody wants to try. So for that reason, you try to make shorter rewards that can gradually guide the model to play the game. Uh, but you have to be very careful, careful about that as well, because if you just say, for example, hey, here's a nice reward for being close to the ball, right? What's going to happen is the bot is going to drive up to the ball, stop, and that's it. Because it's close to the ball, that's high reward, and great, right? The, the model, model is really happy. Uh, you don't want to do that, so you need to add more specific, like a uh, direction of the ball, if it's going towards the goal, if it's going away to the goal, and it's, it go becomes a whole like big if-else again, but this time in the reward, where it uh, adds up a lot of numbers and gives maybe a sensible reward. Uh, now to the development that allowed us to create better bots. At the first, first like kind of first iteration was uh, somebody made a plugin from uh, RL Gym that allowed the game to actually run up to I think a hundred times faster than actual real time and without losing physics sticks. And you could also open like ten or twenty instances of the game. That sped up everything by quite a lot, but it was still kind of slow. Like one of the best bots took four months to go from start of the training to end of the training. And, you know, four months is a lot of time experimenting re with rewards. So somebody else came along and created sim, a rocket sim, which is uh, pretty much uh, the physics uh, engine from the game taken at the version that it, was real, that it was used in the game. It's bullet physics, which is open source, so you can take it and added all the changes that the, the game developers did. And right now we just have bare physics uh, simulation that runs almost exactly as the game. And currently the best bot with machine learning is Seer by, by Ultrawide. Um, the best in quotation is because uh, there was an incident where one of the better bots that we had some malicious person took the code for it because we had everything published, uh, wrote some wrapper functions and put it into the online rank game, uh, which created a lot of uh, mm, fear because uh, the bot was good enough to go into pro player games in ranked. And RLBot is really trying hard to not allow that. It's mainly about playing between other developers, right? And that's fun. Playing against other players with bot is not really fun. For some people, maybe, but you know, it's uh, very morally dubious if you really want to do that. Um, while I'm talking about the best bots here, I have a short video uh, showing uh, another bot that's also machine learning. And I'm going to slightly need to, uh, it's a very short video, but uh, just to show you the con level of control of another bot, hopefully it plays. If it doesn't play, then uh, again, keyboard booth, and uh, I'll put uh, more links uh, on the presentation. And, uh, oh, great. We might have a small technical issue. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, small technical issue apart. Uh, I think my laptop froze, so I'm sorry about that. Um, small technical issue, but it's fine. Uh, I'm going to continue. Pretty much uh, what's next is, you know, RLBot has been written a long time ago in Python, so everything is being rewritten to be uh, in C Sharp. Rust was considered, but there was some opinions uh, about not using it for a community project. If you want to talk about it with me, again, I'm right here. Uh, under other developments is hopefully there's more tournaments because since it, you know, since the ban of release of bots, we couldn't, we can't uh, release much, and developers don't really like it. You know, they want to release and show off everything. So hopefully we get more tournaments, and there is actually a tournament coming up for 2024. So if you, anybody of you is very interested, please join and you know make a bot. And RL Gym is also getting a substantial upgrade since all the beginning stuff. And that's pretty much it. So uh, this is a point where you can ask questions, and I maybe answer. You know, I don't know. So <laughs> anybody? Yes. So the question is, uh, how does RL Bot ensure uh, that the bots are not in ranked games? Actually, initially we injected the DLL into the game, and th that disabled online play completely. Since then, the game developer was like, that's very cool, but unfortunately we can't let you really do that. So they gave us an official API in the game, and uh, that automatically disables the online play. So if you try to go online, it will just, this feature is going to be unavailable. So it's trying with that. Any other question? Mm -hmm. So that's a great question. Basic, and the question summed up is, uh, can you divide the training into separate stages because it takes a long time? Yes, you can. Uh, one, some of the, like usually the bots change the reward function as the time goes on. Uh, there's also sometimes a pre-training stage. One of the machine learning bots is actually doing that where it takes a human replace and tries to learn behavior from it, and then it continues with reinforcement learning as it finishes. And that's pretty much it, right? Uh, I believe it's not that good, because first of all, replay systems are very interpolated. So the game runs at 120 ticks per second, but the replay is only 30 per second. So it's not good. And you also don't have user inputs. And even if you had user inputs, humans are ex incredibly inconsistent, right? The AI cannot make sense of what you're actually doing with controls because, you know, you move a little bit left, a little bit right, and you can adjust, right? But the AI doesn't really understand and can filter all these random movements, right? Yeah, any other question? Yep. Yeah. So again, if you have more questions or, or have want to something specifically explained, I'm right over here, and uh, I hopefully interested some of you, maybe a little bit into some of making bots. But yeah, it's it's fun. It's great pastime if you have a lot of GPU power, uh, especially for machine learning. And yeah, thank you for uh, listening to my presentation. <laughs>